Well, thanks for joining me today. We're going through the book of Revelation. We're in chapter 11, talking about two witnesses who are empowered by God to preach to the world, witness to the world with great signs and miracles. But then they're conquered by the beast that comes in a bottomless pit. They're killed and their bodies are lying open um, on the streets of Jerusalem. They're not being afforded a burial. And then everyone in the world, they're rejoicing that these men have finally been taken care of. But that's not the end. The Bible says in verse 11, After the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. And they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on all those on it. Can you imagine? All of a sudden, you're, you, you know, you, maybe you're there in Jerusalem, or at home, you're watching the live stream. Maybe there's a live stream going on all 24-7. As everyone around the world is looking, there's a YouTube channel dedicated to that. And you're seeing these two men there. And then, you're looking, and all of a sudden, you see they start breathing, and they stand up. They're alive. Everyone's amazed. How can how can this be happening? There's a shock. There, there's they're terrified now. What does this mean? And the Bible says, "Great fear fell on those who saw them, and they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here.' Come up. and they went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies watched them. Just the same way the disciples watched Jesus as he ascended." You know, these men are looking as these two men are going up into heaven. This is a, another rapture in the Bible where these two witnesses are raptured, taking them into heaven and everyone is aghast. What, what is going on here? What does this mean? The Bible says, And at that hour there was a great earthquake and a tent of the city fell. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. And he says, Look, the second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet. There was loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom, very important, the kingdom of the world, the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. All the kingdoms of the world, whatever continent, whatever country, Whatever island state, our island nation, the kingdom of the world will become the kingdom of our God. And he's going to reign forever and ever. That's what we're looking forward to. Jesus finally taking the reins, full control of everything in the world. And what a glorious day that will be. What a glorious day that will be.